Hello everyone and welcome to another video on my channel. In today's video we are going to draw and paint an entire page of a sketchbook together. I prepared all the sketches before recording so that on the video I could already go to the most interesting stage of creating the work, coloring. I think the sketching part is the most difficult and labor intensive for me especially since I was sketching directly on a piece of paper. I hadn't prepared sketches on the iPad before, so it took me a really long time. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know that some time ago I added a story where my followers could decide what I should draw in my sketchbook. It is known that I will not be able to draw all the suggestions, so I choose three characters. Two characters from anime series and one original character, Kuolena, who belongs to Jonax Art Corner on Instagram. The first suggestion is Shinobu Kocho from Demon Slayer and the second is Sailor Moon. I'm sure many of you associate this shot with the anime because a few years ago there was a very popular draw this in your style challenge of just this screenshot from the series. I probably never drew Sailor Moon because I watched maybe one episode of this anime. Many people grew up watching Sailor Moon, but in my case it was Naruto, Shaman King, Digimon and Pokemon. Should I watch Sailor Moon? Do you like this anime? It's been a very long time since I watched any anime with the exception of the Naruto series. In fact, I much prefer watching Korean dramas. The only problem is that I like to watch while drawing, so I need to watch something with Polish voiceover. As we all know, it's not often that Korean dramas have voiceovers, so until I learn Korean, my options are quite limited. A friend recently got a hype for the Korean drama Queen of Tears, which doesn't have a Polish voiceover, but I will probably watch it anyway in the meantime. Actually, lately I've had a strong desire to watch something from Studio Ghibli. I love Spirited Away. Can you recommend me something from Studio Ghibli? What do you guys like the most? Things haven't been going well for me lately, but let's start at the beginning. Almost two months ago, my aunt informed me that a vacancy for a social media manager job is at her work. She told me about the situation at work and the previous graphic designer was fired because she didn't fulfill her duties, but now I understand why she didn't do it. At least, that's what I think was the reason I will tell you about later. My aunt gave me some materials with instructions on how to make a sample post. I did it the same day and the next day the boss told my aunt to put the post on Facebook. The boss liked my work very much, so he invited me for a job interview. I was excited because due to my poor health I had never worked for someone before. It was always commissions that I could do without time pressure and on my own terms. It would be a dream job. Working from home, friendly atmosphere and hours I could adjust to my preferences. Sometimes I would come to the company to talk to the boss or take photos and videos for posts and reels for social media like Facebook or Instagram. My aunt told my boss about my health situation, so I was very pleased that he took it into consideration. This is where the problem arose, which I only found out would be a problem when I was on my last day of work. From the very beginning, my ex-boss didn't want to talk about money or a specific amount he could offer me. 
since I had also never worked and didn't know how my job would go, I also didn't quite know how to price myself. I suggested that after a month of work we could discuss what amount I would like to get per month. Given that my aunt highly praised her boss, I didn't expect that there might be a problem. Also because of my aunt and the fact that they were left without an employee, I wanted to help them at the same time. I accepted the offer. During this time, every time I would send my boss what I had managed to do. Over time, I realized that he didn't read my emails carefully or look at what I managed to do. When I showed up at the company, he didn't know what I was talking about at all. He searched blindly for my emails and what I had sent him before. It was strange because he responded to me on these messages that everything is great and I can make these posts or reels. This was a red flag because he agreed to everything without knowing exactly what. As a result, my creativity knows no limits. Going forward, the cost of my work is increasing all the time. That's how, within a month, I designed a social media marketing strategy, created a logo for Instagram that I drew digitally, created a huge number of posts and several reels. On Instagram, I dealt with his free companies. In addition, I created some banners for a local news site. I took a lot of photos and some short videos. In general, I worked very hard. Many times my boss complimented me on doing a great job, being creative and better than AI. I was happy that he appreciated me. The closer we got to payday, the worse the contact with the boss became. A month passed, so I immediately notified my boss that we needed to talk finally about my salary. I also asked to meet before my dental appointments because I knew it would be difficult for me to even talk for a while. Unfortunately, he called the day after the dentist's appointment that we could only talk the following week. That's how nearly a month and a half of my work passed. At the meeting, the boss immediately went into specifics, my salary and here I experienced a shock. He offered me an amount of my salary. It was an amount I could have priced just to create a logo for him, but he priced my over a month's work that way. I began to explain why I should get a much higher amount. Not only do I have a college degree, but I have years of experience working on my own social medias. I shared with him my knowledge and ways to develop social media when designing a business strategy. What's more, I shared with him how to improve his business in other ways. I calculated the amount on the rates listed on the internet, but I feel that I still underestimated my work. He thought I was unserious. My boss wanted to negotiate my salary with me, but there was nothing to negotiate. The salary amount was so low that even if I won a higher one, I would still feel like a slave. It's hard to visualize how low the amount was. I live in Poland and for such an amount I could only buy the cheapest food and cut litter for 3 quarters of a month, but this was the salary for a month and a half of my hard work. When I said I was leaving the job, then my boss showed what he really thought. He tried to convince me to use AI and then he could pay me less. Do you understand that? 
I had never felt before that AI had an impact on human work until I experienced it myself. It was humiliating. I said I wouldn't work that way. It's hard to describe how I felt at that moment when I had previously heard compliments that I was better than AI. Of course, I'm better and I deserve to be paid well or at least enough for my work. My boss was surprised that he didn't tell me how much he paid the previous employee. All he said was that he paid her a lot and there were no results, on top of which it was hard to ask her to do any work. If he paid her as much as he wanted to me, it's embarrassing to admit that he values my hard work as much as the previous employee. I was shocked that he considered it a high amount. Honestly, I am not surprised that this employee did a minimal amount of work. She performed her work as much as she was getting paid for it. I said that if he thinks AI can do what I can do for a low price, then he should take advantage of it because I don't agree to work almost for free. What's more, he told me that my work hasn't helped him much at all in developing his business. He wanted to make my salary level dependent on how much he earns from it. Do you understand that? I would work hard and if he didn't earn anything from it, I wouldn't get my salary. For the time worked, he paid me only half of what I wanted. He said he also had his own expenses and was unable to pay me the full amount now. While I was waiting for my boss, a customer came into the company and shopped for five times the amount I was offered only one customer. It seems to me that I won't get back the second half of my salary. When I came out of that conversation, I just started crying. I felt cheated and abused. My friends warned me that it could be some kind of scam. I was fooled because the boss was so nice at first and appreciated my work. It was a valuable lesson for me. What's more, after this situation, I solidified my desire to work hard and make my dream come true of working as an artist. I have very supportive parents who will always help me and they are very happy with my every small success. Nothing happens without a reason. The day after I left my job, I was offered my first collaboration with an art brand and you will be able to see the results on my channel soon. I promise to work hard to share my passion with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. See you soon, bye!